Categories and tags are the two ways of organizing your content in WordPress. You can add categories and tags to any post, and in this video, I'm going to be telling you all about them. So categories are a way of grouping content that's similar around the same theme. So if you run a food blog, for example, you might have a category of recipes and then perhaps a subcategory of main meals and also desserts. And so you see categories can have a hierarchy. You can have main meals as a subcategory of the recipes category. However, tags have no such relationship and you might want to tag your content with all of the keywords relevant to the post. So for example, um, if I was making a main meal recipe on my food blog, then I might want to have tags for the different types of main ingredients I've got involved. And you can have as many of those as you like. And indeed, you can have as many categories as you like, and you can add posts to multiple categories as well. I'll share what this looks like by taking this post I've got published on my site. And if I go to edit this now, then on the right hand side here, this is where you'll see all of your categories and all of your tags on your post. You can see I've got this post in two categories, which is news and domestic. And I've got that indicated by the tick box here. And I can just add or remove categories by ticking those. I can also add a new category here and I can choose the name of the category. I just need to type this in. So for example, I might have sport and press add new. And then I can also add uh, parent categories. So if I want to have tennis as a subcategory of sport with sport as the parent category, I just need to select sport and add tennis in there. And you're gonna see that I've got that as a category hierarchy there. So um, my tennis post is a sub would be a subcategory of the sport post. And you can tick as many of those as you like. If I just update this, and then hop back to my site. Then we'll see how this looks for visitors. And you can see that visitors can use these categories and tags in order to sort content they're interested in. So at the bottom of the post, I've got a link to the two categories I've got this post in. So if I click on news, then this will take me to the news category. This will display all of the posts in this category. So with the most recent first. And users can use this to navigate and find content that they're interested in. If I just head back to edit this post again, then we'll have a look at tags now. And if I scroll down, then we'll see that I've got these two tags or added already. So I've got party and the politician added here. I might add things such as the location, as well as other people of interest or other significant points or significant keywords about this article. So I might just add that in there and press add. And I can just remove any of those categories that I don't want by pressing the cross there, as well as I can choose from my most popular and most used tags here, just by pressing that there. You typically want to try and use the same tags throughout your posts in order to group those posts and make them useful as a way of navigating. So if I just update this again, you'll see as with categories, if we just visit our site, then um, at the bottom of the page, at the bottom of this post, we're going to see that we've got these are the tags. So if I click on London, for example, then this would take me to the tag archive for London, where I would see all of the posts tags London. And you can see here that this is a way for users to navigate your site. If I head over to the WordPress dashboard now though, and hover over posts, you'll see I've got two options for categories and tags. I'm just gonna click on categories. This will take me to the page manager for categories. And here I can manage all of my categories. So I can add extra categories here um, using this field on the left hand side, including a description which might display on your theme, as well as I can see all of the posts in these categories by clicking here. So if I want to see all of the posts in the news category, I need to click on that. And I can manage those there. And I've also got some options for editing. So if I want to edit the media category, I can perhaps add a description here or choose a parent category as well as the quick edit, similar to how you've got on posts. And so I can change the category name or media. So I might have, if I just wanted to show you what that looks like, I could just add an exclamation mark there, hit save, and that's all done. You also have some options for bulk actions, including deleting your categories, but I'm just going to leave mine as they are. It's a very similar process for tags, you're going to see that you've got option to add new tags down the left hand side with a name, slug or URL and description. 
and you've got all of the tags and all of the posts in those as well. And again, you've got edit and quick edit where you can add those in there as well as it's showing your popular tags there. So these are ways of organizing content on your site. Really easy to use and categories and tags make use of them and it's going to make your user experience on your site that much easier. That's all there is to it and thank you very much for watching. Thank you.